Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Still the Christmas season, for another couple of weeks at least. Uh, and you know I watch a lot of TV. I've always watched a lot of TV. And in the holiday season, there was always some sort of holiday special on. And I grew up with a whole lot of them. It seems that most of them, though, were produced by Rankin Bass. Uh, mainly because uh, from 1964 up through 2001, they've produced 19 Christmas specials. Not all of them are as well known as some of the other ones are, uh, and honestly, looking at the list, I don't even remember some of these, which means they did not get shown a whole lot. Uh, especially the uh, 2001 one, the last one they made, called Santa Baby, narrated by Eartha Kitt. I remember that, but I don't think it's been on a whole lot in the last 14 years. Their most famous one, of course, is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from 1964. That's the one that everyone knows, and it really started them on this path of being the go-to place uh, or the go-to shop for Christmas stuff. Because after that, you, you uh, had Little Drummer Boy come out in 1968, Frosty the Snowman in 69, Santa Claus is Coming to Town in 1970, and it, they just kept coming out every few years with one or two more Christmas specials. So by the time I was watching TV and able to really remember it, which was, you know, late 70s, early 80s, there were a ton of these Rankin-Bass specials, and then there were still more coming out uh, every couple of years uh, until 1985, which was their Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, uh, and then there was that huge break until the 2001 one. And in that time, Rankin-Bass changed a whole lot. And uh, the market for Christmas specials also changed a whole lot. But all of these classics, Frosty the Snowman, uh, Frosty's Winter Wonderland, Rudolph's Shiny New Year, uh, these are all things that I grew up watching. And whenever I think about Christmas... These are the things that come into my mind visually. These animated, stop-motion animated shows with these classic songs. A lot of them classic songs before they were animated shows. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer goes all the way back to uh, 1939. Uh, most famous version, Gene Autry's version, which is what everyone of a certain age hears in their head when uh, you start singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But then a lot of other songs uh, got used in these, uh, these shows, created for these shows, and made their way into the Christmas canon of an entire generation. So Gen X, if you're in Gen X, you know all of these things if you were in the U.S. and paid any attention at all to television. Uh, and it's just such an interesting phenomenon that I don't think we've seen a lot since uh, with holiday specials, at least. There have been little uh, holiday specials have cropped up here and there that are uh, memorable, some new ones that still get shown. There's, of course, along with all the Rankin Bass ones, there's the, the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. There, there's a few others out there. But these Rankin Bass ones are kind of the, the big deal ones, the ones that made a huge impact on me and a lot of other people. And even today, they hold up pretty well. Uh, as far as quality goes, as far as uh, story goes. They're not deep stories, mind you, but I think a lot of us have a special place in our hearts for all those misfit toys uh, from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Hermie the, the elf that really just wants to be a dentist. Uh, it, it's stuff that really, over the years... I think we've done a lot with in our heads. Uh, you know, even if you haven't watched it in years, 
you still remember that abominable snowman bumbles and how he bounces. And you remember Frosty the Snowman coming in and singing uh, and saying happy birthday and marching through the streets with the kids and the, and the uh, broom and everything. And it's just really one of those sets of shows that, that Rankin Bass did that helped sculpt the view of Christmas for an entire generation. Uh, and really also, of course, uh, ended up playing into the whole commercialization of Christmas, uh, the whole mass media end of Christmas, because, uh, well, the, the 50s and 60s is when you had TV really coming into its own, and the 60s and 70s is when you already had TV everywhere. So these shows that show up were complete cultural phenomenons because back then you only had three networks and these were on them you know these were on one of those networks for christmas every year and everyone who watched tv saw them so tell me What's your favorite Christmas special uh, out of all the Rankin Bass ones? I'll post a uh, list of them down in the uh, down in the description so you can get a uh, get an idea of how much these these guys actually put together. Uh, so let me know what your favorite one is and what your favorite uh, favorite part from that one is. Uh, and uh, my I'm still a huge Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer fan. I love the Island of Misfit Toys. I just think it's so fantastic. And the song, Why Am I Such a Misfit, is just absolutely heartbreaking and hopeful at the same time uh, because of the context of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So let me know down, down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And uh, if you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right down there also. If uh, you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. If you know anyone else that's interested in the stuff I do, share this or one of my other videos with them and uh, let them get in on the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.